Now we're going to practice finding some of these key features of trig functions without using the graph. I'm not going to graph anything. I'm just going to look at these, uh, these functions right here and figure out the equation of the midline, amplitude, and period. So let's start with the middle one first. I think this one's probably the easiest of these three that we're looking at. You can see the amplitude right in front of the cosine function. Okay, that's just 4. And the equation of the midline, also very easy to see. First of all, every equation of the midline is going to be y equals something. Because this is a vertical shift and it's asking you, let's say we have a sine curve like this, okay? And your x-axis was way down here. What is this line? That's the midline. So that's going to be y equals some number, all right? So that's what I'm talking about with the equation of the midline. Now, uh, for this one, the middle one that we're doing, it's going to be y equals 1 because you can see that 1 right here. And then we have the period to talk about. Well, remember the formula for period. That's period equals 2 pi over b. And b is the number that's multiplied against x. So that's going to be 2 pi over 2. And that is just going to be pi. Okay, so there's our first example. Now in the next one, what do, what do I want to do next? Let's pick on um, let's pick on this guy. Negative two cosine x over four. Well, there's no plus anything at the end of it, so there's no midline. And you would just say midline equals zero, or y equals zero is the equation of the midline. And then when you get to amplitude, you can you might think, hey, the amplitude's going to be negative two, easy peasy. But it's not negative two because Amplitude, if you think about what amplitude is describing, it's describing how tall this wave is. And you have some waves that are kind of tall like this. You have other waves that are really tall. And you have some waves that are small, but you can't have a negative size, right? Length is, length is not measured in negative numbers. It wouldn't make any sense. So amplitude is always going to be a positive number. You can think of it as the absolute value of the number. We would just say the amplitude is 2. And then when it comes to period, let's get some room here. The period of this guy, remember what b is, b for this example is 1 over 4. So the period is going to be 2 pi divided by that 1 over 4. And I prefer to do my fraction divisions with the old-fashioned division symbol so that I know when it comes to keep flip change, I just change the division to a multiply, flip this over, 2 pi times 4 over 1, well that's just going to be 8 pi. Okay? So that's the procedure for doing this one.